it's like transferring our intelligence to machine systems to help people, to free them from repetitive work. So my name is Xiao Wei, and I'm a second year PhD student at uh, the Department of Computer Science and Engineering. We want to use modular quad rotors to solve questions and problems in reality. For example, in transportation, maybe we can use some robots to deliver food, to deliver some medicines. I am Diego Salazar D'Antonio, a first year PhD student in Computer Science and Engineering Department. Something that we think is that we can manipulate objects without human intervention. For example, a single quad rotor can have a camera and take some pictures. However, if we use a bunch of them, it can assemble together and have greater capabilities of maneuvering in the environment and manipulate with the environment. So we can use two quad rotors to carry a package and four quad rotors to construct something. And imagine we have, say, 1,000 quad rotors. They can assemble and uh, deal with problems. Uh, we call this kind of system swarms. Using multiple robots, we have some resilience because if someone fails, another one can just continue doing some action. The reason why we want them to be able to assemble in the air is because we want to change their task specifications on the fly. We are doing science. We are doing new things to, to improve our work. For example, if you have someone with need of special assistance, and uh, that person is not able to interact with that door handle, we can deploy one of those systems. It might seem like uh, it's, it's dealing with like code machines, but eventually we aim at helping people. That is the heart of it.